Hey family, let's talk about plants and eating and growing. Over the past couple of years, I've been very passionate about growing my own food. Um, and especially now with the pandemic, people are hungry out there. Like you watch the news and you see the, you see the lines and lines of people just waiting to get a box of food. And it's, it's really sad to see. And outside of that, one in four black children are food insecure. Blacks are twice more as more likely than whites, not Hispanics, to be food insecure. And this doesn't have to be. We all can grow our own food. If it's even growing in a bag, if it's growing uh, in a little pot, we all can grow our own food. Take for instance, the humble sweet potato. This is the Jamaican version or the Caribbean version, also known as bonyata or batata. It has the more reddish purple skin and white flesh. And th this is the traditional sweet potato that is our candied yam which has the orange flesh. These sweet potatoes are packed in nutrients. And did you know that even the leaves of the sweet potato can be eaten? Today, I wanna show you how to take a regular sweet potato from the, from, the, um, from the supermarket, start your own slips, plant your own slips, from which you can get pounds and pounds of sweet potatoes. So let's talk about how do we get these slips that we plant. So what I did here was I took a regular sweet potato from the supermarket, I added three toothpicks and suspended it in water. From that, you'll see that it eventually starts to grow roots. After the roots form, then it shoots slips. These are slips that I cut like two weeks ago, stuck them in the water, and you can see they already have a ton of roots. These slips are ready to grow. You can also put the sweet potato directly in the soil just put it sideways and it will eventually shoot slips that you can also plant and grow. It's one of the very important things is sweet potatoes, they grow better when you plant them from the slips rather than trying to bury them into, into the dirt. You will get a lot of bush when you just bury the whole sweet potato, but you won't get a lot of sweet potato. These sweet potato slips were cut from the sweet potato two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. And you can see from a plain slip, there are tons of roots. Each root will, each slip will literally be three to five pounds of sweet potatoes. So it's, it's super easy to grow these. Once you start growing sweet potatoes, literally you never run out of sweet potatoes. These leaves are packed with nutrients. These are even more um, nutrient dense than spinach. There's vitamins B, C, E, K, carotene, beta carotene, a ton of nutrition in these leaves as well as in the sweet potatoes so um let's let's go and see i'll show you some that i've already planted and i'll also plant some of these so you can see how i do it it's very very easy come come with me welcome to my haven of grace welcome to my haven of grace all right so over here you'll see some sweet potatoes that i planted maybe two months ago as you can see these are full of leaves I've actually had at least two or three meals from all these leaves. These are the Jamaican sweet potatoes. And here's where we're gonna plant our sweet potatoes. It's very important that we use very loose soil. As you can see, the soil is very loose. We can either use garden soil and add perlite and humus. Humus keeps the moisture in and perlite makes it nice and loose. So we're gonna bake some coals. The reason why it's important for it to be loose is because these, these roots are gonna actually grow potatoes. So the roots need loose soil to work its way down and grow nice big fat potatoes. All right, so here's how we plant. I think we can fit at least four or five in here. This is a huge bucket. I actually got this bucket at Walmart, it's 17 gallons. It was only 4.95, so it's super cheap. So all is nice and loose so it's easy to plant. Make sure you cover all the roots. And it literally is taking one minute to plant all these slips where we're gonna have our delicious sweet potato. And in the meantime, on Sundays, I can come out and pick my slips and make my nice Asian stir fried greens and enjoy those with all that nutrition while I wait for my sweet potatoes. I think we can fit just one, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more. All right, we got six.
six slips in here. Now we have to wait, let's say, 120 days to be safe. The wonderful thing about living here in South Florida is that sweet potato loves the warmth and South Florida is hot. So we're gonna get some nice good sweet potatoes from this. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for my first episode of Plant, Eat, Grow. Join me and let's plant and grow and eat together.